family. Today's video is my thrift store treasures. Let's start here. For the classic timeless buyer, I have a J. Jill jacket. I paid $3 for the jacket. I paired it up with a Banana Republic pant with tags on it. I paid a dollar for the pants, total of $4 for the whole ensemble. Okay, let's start here. For my businessmen, I have a John Henry athletic fit dress shirt. I paid a dollar for that. I love that gray pinstripe. I have another dress shirt for my business guys. Ralph Lauren, blue, timeless, classic, a dollar. Next ensemble, I have a preteen in mind for this, and I'll tell you why. I have a linen and cotton short, short shorts by Ralph Lauren, and I think I paid a dollar for this, for these. And I say a preteen because I wouldn't want to see my girlfriend in these. <laughs> and I paired it with an Ann Taylor Loft lace top. And I paid three dollars for it, for a total of four dollars. I think a preteen pre would look sharp in this. Okay, around my bowl, you'll see I have sunglasses hanging here. Uh, generally speaking, I usually pick up when I see them sunglasses at my thrift store because they're usually around a dollar or two dollars, and I think you can't go wrong with that. This next ensemble, I bought it with myself in mind. I have here a lined pair of linen shorts. They'll come out to the knee with tags on them. The tag says $88, they're from Talbot's, and then they marked them down two times in the store, and they ended up at the thrift store, and I picked these up for a dollar. Now, they won't fit me <laughs> anymore, but I think they would look great on my sister. I also paired it with a lace top from Anthropology, and you'll see it has tags on it and it was $88 and I got it for a dollar. That will also go to my sister. The ensemble for $166 and I paid $2. You can't go wrong. Love that look. My next thrift store find, I have my sons in mind for these. I have a button down Oxford dress shirt. With that, I paired it with, and I paid a dollar for this, for the shirt. I paired it with a chaps sweater vest, and I think I paid $3 for it. I think that would look sharp on my guys. Okay, next for the classic timeless buyer, I have a Ralph Lauren cardigan that I paid a dollar for. And I paired that with a Valora pair of pants that I paid a dollar for. And I think for $2, that's a timeless classic look. You can't go wrong. Okay, family. I have another thrift store find that I have myself in mind for, but these are going to have to go to one of my nieces. 
because I can't fit them. They are a white Chico brand embellished jean that I absolutely love. I think the detail along the side and along this legs, the legs, are gorgeous. I could see my nieces pairing this with a white top, a gray top, even a black top would look really sharp with that. Another thing I tend to pick up at my thrift stores are belts. You can usually get really good leather belts for like two, three dollars. And I, when I see them, I pick them up. I have a black and silver belt here. I have a black leather chaps belt here. I have a black leather Kenneth Cole belt here. And when I see them, I grab them. I also have here a silver evening handbag that I think I paid two or three dollars for. And I tend to keep those around for special occasions. Okay, I have another pair of jeans, blue jeans actually, that I had myself in mind for, but they'll go to my one of my nieces too. They are by White House Black Market, and I love the embellishment on them. The back and then the little stones in the front. You could pair those with anything, wear them, any top. White, black, blue. I love those. Okay, this ensemble here I have in mind for the casual male. I have a Hollister Buttonfly pair of jeans, and I paired that up with a long sleeve mock sweater. Now, this sweater has tags on it. This sweater came from Joseph Bay Banks, and it was $79.50. It's 100% silk. What I would say, is this pairing would look great because this sweater is gonna carry these jeans and put a pair of black loafers on with those. That would look really sharp. Actually, it would look great, this whole ensemble on my dad. Okay, I just have a pair of reading glasses. I pick those up sometimes too. And in the front here, I have three different ties. Now I usually pick ties up periodically because I have guys at home and I pick them up when I find them and I like them and although I have in mind which tie for which son or husband, I don't say that. I'll put them all together, let them pass them around and they can pick out whatever, pick and choose whatever they want. But that's another thing you could also find a lot of times at the thrift stores is really, really nice ties. Okay. I have here in the middle, the center of attention, is a black and silver evening bag. This bag I caught from Cache, and it was $5, I think. I love it. Oh, and as I'm going along, I don't know if I said I paid $5 for the Hollister jeans and a dollar for this sweater. Okay, again, sunglasses, a dollar or two dollars you can find. I was at my, this Michael Kors um, phone case came from a friend of mine's has a thrift store and I walked in one day and she said, Kim, get that 
for one of the boys, their phones. And I think she gave it to me for like 50 cents. And you can see it has tags on it and it says it's $38 retails. Okay. Now this last ensemble, I have um, my millennial in mind for this. And I'll tell you why. I have here the button fly Hollister jeans with the tears and rips in them. I think that's a little edgy. And I paired it with a Ralph Lauren polo. And I think that would be nice with a pair of Argyle socks and a pair of boots and add these sunglasses with it. They're by Lucky and I paid a dollar for those. And I think that would be a nice casual night out attire. Okay, I think I covered the preteen, the businessman, the classic timeless woman, the casual male, and the edgy millennial. One last thing I forgot to mention, I don't actually have a suit here, but I would like you to know that you can find men's suits, really nice men's suits at the thrift stores for little to nothing. A couple years ago, I bought my son one, and I think I paid maybe 10 or $12 for it. I altered it, dry cleaned it, and um, he'll have it forever. One other thrift store find uh, relating to suits that I found for my oldest a couple years ago, I found a Ralph Lauren blue timeless classic jacket. The jacket, I paid 50 cents for it, had tags on it, and I paid 50 cents for it. Then I took the jacket to the Ralph Lauren store, and I had them order me the pants to this jacket. Now, I did pay $95 for the pants, and then 50 cents for the jacket, but for Ralph Lauren, $95.50 for a suit is unheard of. That suit he has worn, and will have for years to come. Let me know what you think about my thrift store finds. Okay, family, in closing, I want to share a quote. And I'm calling this quote a God wink. And you'll see why as I tell the story. And it relates to the thrift store. I was on my way to a thrift store, and it takes about 15, 20 minutes to get to to this particular thrift store. And I wasn't feeling well, but when I got there, I felt worse. So I only went in, say for maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then I came out and I got in my car and as I'm going down the road, generally speaking, I'm looking on the right hand side because I, I know this road and I know that there's uh, church marquees along the way, and I usually like to read uh, whether they have a quote on them or a scripture. But this particular day, I'm driving along and I'm looking to my right, but I was just getting ready to say, Lord, I'm so tired of being sick and tired. And before I could get the words out of my mouth, I look over to my, the corner of my eye to the left, and there's a billboard there, and it says, life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. And when I read it out loud, I said, wow, thank you, Lord, I needed that today. And as I proceeded along this road to get home, it kept playing in my mind. Life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. Got it. I got it, Lord.
So I get home and I tell my husband, that sounds great. I tell other people, that sounds great. But this God wink that I'm talking about, what I didn't realize is that sign was not there for anybody else but me. It didn't mean anything else to somebody else like it meant to me. And I'm going to tell you why. I guess the Lord say she can be kind of hard headed sometimes. Let me bring it on closer to home. So two or three days later, I was standing at my breakfast island and I was opening mail. And it's not unusual that this girlfriend of mine would send a thinking of you card. And as I opened it, the front of the card had a beautiful picture. But when I opened the inside, it said, life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. And I screamed. And I screamed because I knew that was the Lord telling me I had that sign the other day out there just for you. Now you're gonna understand more as time go on, as time goes on, because I'm gonna one day share my full testimony. But what that, but today I wanna to share what that quote meant for me is the Lord started ministering to my heart that I know you don't feel well all the time. But listen, if you stop and look around and choose gratefulness over complaining. I got this. Choose gratefulness. How many times, and he started ministering to me, how many times have I changed the reports of those doctors and made them look like fools for your good. So if this is all you go, you go through, be grateful. I got this. And if this can be a blessing to somebody else, use it. But I know it was just for me. So until next time, be blessed.